to that wondrous donkey next to the entrance. Okay, what am I doing here? Hi guys, Although I think I am in Arabia at Lord the moment. Stands right between them. One of Rash's new toys. Present all three devices. Ha <laughs> ha, precisely. But one thing at a time. Present Let us all three. Decide what to demonstrate first. A Jew, a Muslim, and a converted Christian. Yet their quarrels are always playful, full of wisdom and curiosity. Okay. Um. Right, I am flummoxed. Plain wood with stone eyes, <clears throat> with no mechanism or machinery. No one knows how she works. It's fitted perfectly into the device, but can be easily removed, usually holds water. A wick dipped in tallow and wrapped in wax. This too must have been a clever invention once. How easy it is to lose one's sense of awe. Um, on second thought, why don't you save the lady for last? I'm confused. <laughs> Otherwise the other two devices might appear bland and boring in comparison. I agree. Alright. Uh, let's start with this one then. It's empty. Candle. Rashid must never know I burnt down a cathedral. <laughs> Plain wood with stone eyes. She's too precious to be burned. Um. Mm, now that's not how she works. No, it's too heavy. It's filled with water. Okay. And now? Now, Jack will heat the water in the tank. Um. I'm confused. It's so beautiful it will make you cry. <laughs> Just listen. Banu Musa. The Banu Musa brothers were three scholars of Persian descent who lived in Baghdad in the 9th century. They are known for the Book of Ingenious Devices, a large illustrated collection of mechanical appliances and automata. These automata were largely designed for entertainment but featured innovative engineering. The brothers also wrote books on astronomy, astrology and geometry, the last of which had a great influence on both Islamic and European mathematicians. But well, how marvellous! How does it work? Maybe it's a miracle. <laughs> right. Go on, Jack. Tell them. Explain it. <laughs> There's a hidden wheel inside the box. It turns an axle that in return raises and drops a sequence of small cylinders inside. These cylinders work like fingers playing a flute. But who is blowing into the flute? Steam. Steam? Yes. When I opened the pipe, it gradually Who's pushed this? itself into the tube. The power of steam. For <clears> once, <throat> I must agree. This is brilliant. Of course! It was created by a Muslim, after all. <laughs> Let's not get ahead of ourselves. What else have you got, Rashid? Anyone care for some tea? Thank you, my daughter. We will have some as soon as Jack has finished our presentation. Mind if I watch? Of I course sure. not. So, who is this man, Rashid? Jack is a friend of the house. A brilliant man, a scholar and a talented artist. 
I could watch this man scoop up water all day. <laughs> Just the other day, he explained Euclid to me. You showed it to us already. Mm, now that's not how she works. What is that? No, it's for the presentation. A Greek who wrote a book called The Elements of Geometry. Hmm. The Egyptians translated it into Arabic, and now the Englishmen are turning it into Latin. The shady spot. How very peculiar. What's Aisha? Don't let me distract you, Jack. Rib vaults and pointed arches. These southern builders are geniuses. Um, Rashid, when this is done, uh, would you give me the statuette in exchange for my slingshot? Only if you can tell me how she works. It's a deal. And you finish the performance for my friends. Yes, go on, please. First, I need to figure her out. Right. You've seen my slingshot? Yes, when you showed it to father. <laughs> it's very sweet. This isn't part of the presentation. Um. They won't be impressed with this. No, I need the water elsewhere. Mm, now that's not how she works. You showed it to us already. Wouldn't you rather have some tea? Please, stop fooling around. Help. Although all the devices are different, they always work with water in one way or another. Of course! If they're inspired by the Banu Musa, they should be. Oh, I see. This is disgusting. <laughs> oh, far from it. Would you kindly explain how it works, Jack? Explain it. You see that bowl floating on top of the water? At the bottom of that bowl is a small hole. Through it, the bowl is slowly filled with liquid. Once it's full, it sinks, pulling a string which makes the ball drop onto a weight. This, in return, Pulls the bowl up again, emptying it in the process. Thus resetting the entire mechanism. If you timed it perfectly, you could make it drop a ball at every hour. Turning it into a clock. How clever. For me, it's hmm. still nothing more than a puking donkey. <laughs> <laughs> Show us more, Rashid. One could join those two and build a singing donkey clock. <laughs> One song after every hour. That would be pretty clever. That would be pretty clever. I know, right? You could be the one to build it. Oh, that would be unfair. It's your invention. I would let you have it. Or we design it together. <clears throat> you still haven't shown us that statuette yet. Of course. Jack, if you may. Oh, I see. Oh, you will love this. Just watch. 
I need to put it somewhere cold. And now? Just be patient, but don't look away. It takes some time for her to... To do what? Hmm? Is it crying? Isn't that amazing? No, it's irritating. What is going on? Rashid, what is going on? <laughs> it's a mystery. It's a mystery. Rashid, please. We all know that there is no such thing as a man-made miracle. And this piece of wood is very clearly made by man. I very much agree, my friends. But so far, none of us has an explanation. All we know for certain is that her glassy eyes shed tears when you move her from warmth into cold. Like a plant at sunrise? They see it. Like dew. Exactly. <laughs> the only difference is the surface. That's all. Ask her to go on. I think you may be on to something. Am I? Of course, I had no intention of disturbing your conversation. But if you can find out why there's dew gathering on a plant, you may understand why that woman is so weepy. <laughs> so, who wants a cup of tea? <laughs> I'll have some. Your daughter is quite something, Rashid. A scholar in her own right. I know. I'd rather she wasn't. What? It would make marrying her off so much easier. Ah, oh, okay. Oh, I'm certain that won't stay a problem for long. That stupid Maybe thing. Maybe the dew originates from invisible water in the air. Water that stays hidden when it's hot. On the Camino de Compostela, three months later. The pilgrim trails across France converged at Osterbat in the foothills Osterbat. of the Pyrenees. There, the group of 20 or so pilgrims who had been traveling alongside me since I'd left Tours swelled to about 70. It's beautiful. Some were prosperous citizens, some probably on the run from justice, a few drunks and several monks and clergymen. Several languages were spoken, including Flemish, a German tongue, and a southern French language called Oc. Nevertheless, there was no lack of communication among them, and as we crossed the Pyrenees, they sang, played games, told stories, and in several cases, had love affairs. Ooh, spicy. While my baby and I kept mostly to ourselves. Okay. Ah, oh, beautiful. Stone bridge. I'm sure Fired up. Fight with your kind. Hush now. Hmm? It's almost like a stage, like a play. Apologize to the pilgrims. I'm sorry. He has to cry himself out before he'll fall asleep. It will give you a strong voice one day, won't it? <laughs> Do you have children? Richtig dreist. Go for a walk. Kann ein Mann nicht einfach mal seine Ruhe haben? Der Weg aus Babenberg war doch anstrengend genug. German pilgrims fly down to the riverside. Stimmt doch, oder? Excellent. The town was granted bridge privileges, so all pilgrims must pass through here. The 
town's merchants profit greatly. That poor soul. <laughs> Maybe I can help her somehow. Dear Lord, what are you doing? You should get out of the water. It's oh, yeah, she's crazy. in her knees, yeah. My ring. I lost my ring. Oh, Dear no. Lord, please show mercy. <laughs> Blind woman, right. Okay. Not there. Come back to me, please come back to me. Nope. Where are you? Where did you go? I'm here. Not there. Most pilgrims stay near the... Oh, there it is. Glowing. <gasps> there it is. Nice. I found it. I found it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Nice. You are a very kind woman. So very, very kind. I'm glad I could help. <laughs> yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. Cool. Good deed done. Are you getting warmer? Are you getting warmer? I am, thank you. Tell me about your ring. I can see this ring is very precious to you. It, it was a gift from my stepmother. She thought I would stay forever, but I didn't. Tell me about your stepmother. Tell me about your stepmother. She was such a kind woman. So very very kind. Then why did you leave? Why did you leave? Oh, I... I... I thought I didn't belong. She always said I was her daughter, but I was sure she was lying. I was so selfish and so stupid. Too stupid to see I really was happy. Maybe you really weren't happy. Maybe you really weren't happy. I don't know. I was very young and thought I was unhappy because I didn't live close to the sea. Right. But in the end, the sea did not feel the same about me. The I'll cold get there made me sick. It took away my sight. It was courageous of you to leave. It was courageous of you to leave. You did what your heart told you to. I was stupid. So, so stupid. Ah, that's why you went on the pilgrimage. Yes. So that St. James might see my devotion and I will be united with my mother in heaven. I'm just not as kind as you. Not kind at all. I'm sure you are. Actually, we have much in common. Actually, we two have quite a few things in common. I too am trying to make amends with the one man I loved the most. I was told he went straight to Santiago. You will know soon. Not soon enough. It's still four weeks till I get there. He'll be there, I'm sure of it. I hope so. I just feel... I just feel that with every day that passes, I'm losing him a bit more. 
and that the only thing I can allow myself still to hope for is not love, but forgiveness. I understand. Hey, hush now. Not long now and our journey will be over, hmm? Okay. That was lovely. Nice little scene. Camino de Santiago. Camino de Santiago. El Camino de Santiago, also known as the Way of St. James, is a Christian pilgrimage route to the Cathedral of Santiago del Compostela, where the remains of Jesus' apostle St. James the Greater were presumably put to rest. The pilgrimage to Santiago, besides Jerusalem and Rome, is one of the most important pilgrimages in Christianity and is believed to be one of the only ways to free a pilgrim of their sins. By the 12th century, it has become a well-organised undertaking. Even a book was written as a travel guide for pilgrims, the Codex Calixtinus, supporting the pilgrims in completing their travel. The scallop shell is used to guide the pilgrims on their way and serves as a symbol of St. James and the Camino, because at the end of their travel, the pilgrims will almost have reached the ocean. Walk the Camino. The woman's name was Alba. She came from a small town somewhere in Catalonia. I quickly got used to her constantly feeling out for her stepmother's ring and the sad guilt that would always follow in her milky eyes. I wasn't sure if she appreciated my company, but I couldn't leave her on her own either. By the time we reached Los Arcos, she'd stopped talking, while I kept on dropping a kind word here and there to let her know I was still by her side. To Burgos? Leon Alba Pomfreda. believed herself to be of weak mind and body, and yet she walked the Camino with a strong sense of purpose that willed her onward. It made me wonder about what I'd told her about my own journey. Did I hope for love, or was I really traveling because I needed him to forgive me? But what was there to forgive? My decision to marry Alfred had been in the best interest of the people of Shiring. It was a sacrifice I had to make to stop the evil reign of William Hamley. These questions had haunted me for a long time now. But if I really was going to see Jack soon, it was time to make up my mind. To Leon? This looks like a long stretch. Around Leon, the path began to gradually turn uphill. It was only two more weeks till we'd reached Santiago. The baby was in a good mood, and so, surprisingly, was Alba. Nice. But... After Astorga, the trail got more difficult. Right. Alba became slower and slower, and we had to rest more. She became quiet again. The strain on her old body grew, and she worried that she might not be able to reach the end. Still, we managed to push onward. Nice. Cool, okay. Pomfreda? The next morning, she refused to get up. Her breathing was disturbingly shallow, and she hardly noticed me touching her forehead. Everything hurts, she said, and urged me to continue without her. Stay with her? Of course I stayed with her. I brought her food and water and sat by her side. But day after day, her condition grew worse. She kept on urging me to go, to find Jack, saying the monks of Ponferrada would take care of her. Continue to stay. I'd hardly known her, and most of the time she'd tried to push me away, as if she considered herself a nuisance mm -hmm. that slowed me down and who didn't deserve company. It wasn't until a few moments before she died that, oh. for the first time, she smiled at me. And I like to believe that she saw me smile back. Oh, I still like to believe that here, in this unlikely place, dying next to a near stranger, she'd found a moment of serenity and happiness. But she'd not reached Santiago. When I left, that thought still haunted me. To see that a journey could come to an end so suddenly. But what would be different if she had reached Santiago? 
Could she have been disappointed by what she found? Head on to Santiago de Compostela. Here we are. That music reminds me of Oblivion. After one month traveling the way of St. James... After months of hard travel, the child and I finally reached Santiago de Compostela. Nice. In the evening, we attended Mass in the Great Cathedral, then started to roam the town looking for my dear Jack. It was almost dawn when finally a priest pointed me to an inn close by. Oh wow, another beautiful setting. Alright guys, so I'm going to end it here. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Goodbye.